Peoples, peoples, yo, this oh, weekend, where are we going, Perez? Philly. Philly, Philly is about oh, to go down. Oh, we just beat Philly too, sorry. Philly premiere is about to be so lit. It's about to be crazy. It's about to be insane. We're actually doing a panel. We're doing a panel. We got like five or six classes for the Philly premiere. So hopefully you guys make it out. If you do, can't wait. Make sure you say hi. Give you a big hug, all that good stuff. Uh, nah, I won't, nah, I won't give you a hug. But I will, I will say what's up. So real quick, guys, this is a haircut tutorial. It's going to be a, fa a ball fade, but it's... <sighs> What, I, what I'm going to do in this video, what I'm going to do to try to switch it up, because I feel like it just keeps getting repetitive, repetitive, and that's why I've been kind of AWOL for like the last two weeks. I'm just like, I'm looking for, I just want to be more creative. Um, it starts to get repetitive and I start start losing interest. And if I'm not loving what I'm doing, then I, you know, I just, I'm not as motivated to do it. Um, but anyway, so this video, I'm going to explain some of the ideas of why I've made decisions um, during the haircut process. So hopefully you guys can learn something in this video. And real quick, before we get started with this tutorial, I wanted to sh tell you guys about our new online mastermind group. And what I want to do is I want to keep it intimate. So it's going to be part of the 245 Academy membership. If you know anything about uh, masterminds, you know there's a lot of nuggets that are dropped during these things, during these type of meetings. It's going to be online, of course. So it's available to anyone who's a part of the 245 Academy. The first mastermind will be tomorrow night. Will be, what's today? The 18th will be the 19th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. The 19th, which is tomorrow, which is Wednesday, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And as of right now, for a limited time, we're dropping the price from $30 a month to $22.99. And if you're already a member, no worries. You don't have to do anything. Your price will, go, will drop to $22.99 as well. And with that being said, now we can get started with this tutorial. <sighs> YouTube, what's going on? It's been like two weeks since we dropped the video. I'm sorry. I get it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna touch on that too much right now, but let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. I'm glad to be back. We're going with a number two with the grain. Now the colors are gonna be off a little bit on the color chart, so I'm gonna try to explain what guard I have on there. This one is a number two, and I'm pretty much coasting. I'm not really putting any weight or any pressure. I'm just coasting. I'm just trying to get flyaways and and smoothing it, smoothing the top out a little bit. And we're going with the grain with the wall cordless seniors and I'm using uh, the taper 1006 blade now I'm going to use my TI lines to create my initial guideline I'm contouring if you notice the shape of the head his like the crown area rounds off a lot so um, that's why we're dropping the uh, the initial guideline the way we're dropping it and if you notice his C cup is kind of weak so I just went ahead and cut it off so it's gonna look like a mid fade or a mid to high fade on the sides. And then um, it's gonna drop um, as we go towards the back. We're gonna follow it up with our shaver. Get it really nice and tight on the sides. I'm using the Babyliss, um, what are they calling it? The FX, the foil FX or something like that. I think they're calling it. And I've done a review on this on this uh, shaver. If you haven't seen it, check it out. All right, so we're going back to our number two, but this time we're going against the grain. And we're going straight up off the head, off the shape of his head. And that's gonna create our base pretty much for the fade. So we have our initial guideline, now we have our base. And now we know that we're, we're gonna fade from a, from a zero or bald to a number two. So we know now that our number two guard is the highest guard we're going to use for this fade. That just kind of simplifies things a little bit, I think. It kind of lets you know where you're going, you know. Alright, so now we can start the fade. I'm going to start with my next guideline that's going to be made with the blade open. The blade is all the way open. And I'll do one side of the head and then I'll do the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put our next guideline in. Doing, doing things a little bit different here. Went ahead and went to my one open. And again, I'm trying to come off the, the, the head a little bit. Because what I'm trying to do is avoid using the one and a half guard. I'm trying to avoid using those blending guards as much as possible. And you can see it's, it's blending in pretty good. I'll still probably go back with the one and a half guard. Just to detail it a little bit. But you can see by coming off the head, 
you can you can blend it in pretty good so right underneath that we're gonna go ahead and close the clipper you can close it you know a few times as you as you go down but stay beneath where you just left off and it's crazy because usually you would need like the blade open then the half guard to blend into the one but we kind of just skipped the half guard the the one pretty much took that line out that we created with the blade open and so now we can go ahead and start erasing that bottom line and we're going close and then we're opening the lever as we go up and I probably opened the lever three different times so that's the basic of fading um, but obviously you know we, we I want to get the quality up a little bit higher like I think I think if I did these steps all the way around the head we can get the haircut done in 10 15 minutes but I take at least 30 minutes because I don't know I just I don't just do this for 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 the money I mean at the end of the day it pays it pays the bills and it's my career but I, I gotta enjoy doing it if I don't enjoy doing it I'm gonna stop loving it I'm gonna stop you know liking it so much and essentially what's gonna happen it's gonna you're gonna you're gonna start to just just show up you know what I mean and kind of hate being there just want to get it over with and your haircut quality is gonna go down the the time that it takes you to cut hair is gonna go down because you just don't care you're gonna make less money um, so I think it goes hand in hand when you have passion for it you're going to make more money in the shop regardless it, it, it's a reflection of your passion um, and so like you know I want I want to have the highest quality possible cut that I can create in 30 minutes and I go ahead and do that because that's what my business model is designed for so we're doing the same thing in the back here we're closing it now opening it up as we go up about three different lever opens until it's blended and and that's kind of why I've, I've slowed down a little bit with the YouTube videos and um, and even some of the Academy videos man like I just I'm looking for, like when it becomes repetitive I just I don't know man I, I I grind I work hard but like I'm constantly looking for something in my niche that I'm passionate about that I can get creative with and and that's why I start I typically will spend most of my my energy and attention we just got back from Des Moines Iowa we were at a the clash of the Clippers barber battle and it was it was pretty dope man Shout out to everybody that I met in Des Moines, Iowa. I connected with, we built relationships, I networked with, and you know, it's so important, so important in any career if you want to get to the next level. You gotta build relationships, and that's and that's true with building your clientele. You gotta build the relationships. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same steps on this side. Blade open, one open. Try not to create a line, trying to blend right into that number two. If you can't, that's okay. We'll probably go back anyways with the one and a half guard just to get a little more detail with the fade. But as far as content, guys, I got a lot in the chamber. I just really need to just sit down and, and grind. I've been really studying. Um, video editing i don't know if you guys have noticed the youtube uh, not the youtube the instagram videos i've been dropping on my instagram if you haven't follow me basio cuts um at basio cuts um and you can see the videos that i've been working on because I'm, I'm i really am trying to get more creative and and continue to be passionate about creating content so you guys can get a sneak peek of what i've been working on on my instagram So this is my blade open. I'm following up right beneath the number one guard. Clean that up a bit and then we'll close the clipper and start to take out that initial guideline.
And guys, just an update. Um, we'll be in Philadelphia this weekend. So I believe the dates are. Let me double check. It's this Saturday and Sunday. Hold on. The 23rd and the 24th of September. So we'll be in Philadelphia for the premiere. And then the following weekend, um, we'll be in uh, Las Vegas for the Las Vegas Barber Expo. You can get tickets to Las Vegas Barber Expo at Las, uh, LVBarberExpo.com. If you use our coupon code, uh, TOOM45, you get $10 off the ticket. That's going to be a movie. That's going to be that's gonna be dope. All right, so as I suggested, this is the one and a half guard, I believe. And we're using that just to, just to clean everything up and detail the blend a little bit more. Especially around the ridge, the Parado Ridge area. It was looking a little too um, condensed, I think. So we're spreading the blend out just a little bit more. Yeah, I, think, I feel like the one and a half guard did did some did improve the cut, and just to soften up the ridge a little bit more, I'm following it up with blending shears. Now, guys, blending shears and thinning shears and texturizing shears are they're they're all different. Notching shears, they're all different, and it's all about the tooth count. Usually, blending shears have the most teeth. You notice this this shear right here has a lot of teeth. So if you want a good blending shit, just make sure it has a lot of teeth. And we'll go ahead and start to define his, his outline, his hairline. And you can see, like I said, um, that frontal hairline, the, the sides and the C cup, the density just wasn't there to get that crisp, clean, you know, um, line. You'd have to push him back in order to do it. And I didn't want to do that. So instead, I took the out the the C cup off. Um, we are we did create that line. It still looks good. Don't get me wrong, it still looks good. But we want it to look next level. So I will do um, a color enhancement with the Coilless Beam Team compressor, and we'll use Kiss Express. I have a video on how to mix and maintain that that whole machine and stuff. And if you search on my channel, if you're not sure. So once we do the, this outline, we'll follow it up with the, uh, the color enhancement. And that's an upsell, guys. That's an upcharge. So like for him, since I'm just doing the, the box and the front hairline, I'd probably charge him an extra five bucks. It takes like two minutes to do, not even. So essentially, what I'm doing here is you know the his front hairline was a little you know puffy almost i i lowered it down with the one and a half guard just to make it match his corners a little bit better all right so here we go so yeah i feel like that made the haircut look look better the overall haircut you know it's it's not a bad haircut but at the same time I don't want to push him back to give him a sharp line and he wants a sharp line so there it is so I just saw after I did the hairline I saw a little imperfection there so I cleaned it up and then we'll follow it with the, the straight razor. And guys, typically what I would charge for this service right here, the ball fade, the color enhancement, all together would be $35. That's what I charge. I'd have no problem charging that. I'm still I'm still booked. So 
you know, I know some people will will complain about that price, but you're not my customer, you know. And this is just me showing you, you can wet, you can wet it, it's not gonna drip, it's not gonna come off. I wiped it with my hands, I just wiped it with a towel. It's not coming off, just because it's water, so. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, all that good stuff. See you on the next video.